breaking news. I've discovered a serious flaw in all Canon mirrorless cameras. There's a simple subject that they simply cannot autofocus on, something that the Canon DSLRs, the Sony mirrorless cameras can focus on. It's a fatal flaw, but Canon is working on a fix, and that fix might just be what the Canon R1 is waiting on. I'll tell you all about it. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. They make absolutely beautiful websites incredibly easy to set up. Set one up today for your photography or video portfolio. Set one up for every personal project so they have a permanent place to live on the web. Starting a business, you know what to do. Go to squarespace.com slash Tony. In just a few minutes, you can have your free trial set up and running to show your friends. When you decide that you love it, use the coupon code Tony and get 10% off. That focusing subject that the Canon R3 and any other Canon camera can't focus on, here it is. Actually, this. Canon mirrorless cameras cannot focus on a horizontal line due to how Canon's current dual pixel autofocus system works. Canon is working on a way to fix it, but first I wanna explain exactly what's happening and why Canon in particular fails. Let's look at a series of camera tests. First, my Canon R5. Focus on a vertical line, no problem. Snaps into focus. Focus on a horizontal line, and it hunts in and out. What about the Canon R3 with its super fast autofocus system? Well, it just hunts in and out even faster. Put up the Sony A1, and no problems focusing on a vertical subject, but again, with the horizontal subject, well, it hunts in and out. But then the Sony A1 seems to intelligently switch autofocus algorithms, perhaps switching to contrast detection autofocus, and it does lock into focus. We can sort of understand the cause of these if we break out my old Leica rangefinder style camera. The rangefinder design goes back to the 1880s. It allows you to view a single scene from two different viewpoints. And when those two viewpoints align, you know the subjects in focus. But they are horizontal from each other. So if you look at a horizontal subject and you focus in and out, you can't see. So the old trick that we've been using for 140 years is you just tilt the camera a little bit and suddenly you can align them very easily. The same trick works on any of these cameras and that's fine for still subjects, maybe even portraits where you can recompose. But for things like sports where action happens in a split second, in any of these scenarios, even with the A1 where it takes a beat to hunt in and out, you would have missed your chance. Perhaps this is why Canon's DSLRs always had cross-type autofocus points on the center autofocus point, if not other autofocus points. In fact, even my very old 5D Mark III had no problems focusing on the center line when I was using the center autofocus point. So why is it that a 30-year-old DSLR can focus on a horizontal line, but a brand new $6,000 mirrorless camera cannot? The reason is that DSLRs had a separate off-sensor phase detect focusing system that was actually pretty sophisticated and worked really, really well. All the mirrorless manufacturers had to design brand new on-sensor focusing systems to replace the old off-sensor focusing systems. And that meant actually starting from scratch and overcoming many of the weaknesses that they had solved in the DSLR era. Here's a close-up of the focusing system from a Canon 1DX professional grade DSLR. And it looks exactly like the focusing system that you might find on their film cameras. What you see is three groups of horizontal and vertical lines. You can see the horizontal pairs of focusing sensors allowed the sensor to focus on anything with vertical contrast, but it would still suffer from the problem that we had with horizontal lines. To solve that, Canon introduced vertical focusing sensors. These vertical sensors can spot horizontal detail, but vertical detail like this would be invisible. But horizontal and vertical sensors paired together could see either of these, but they might not be able to see some sort of grit, which is fairly common with fabrics. And to solve that problem, Canon introduced these diagonal lines. The end result are focusing points that look like this. You can see lots of plus cross style focusing sensors and then X focusing sensors in the middle. The best detail is acquired through these center autofocus points, which is why in the DSLR era, we often told people just to use the center autofocusing point because that was always the most reliable. This is a sensor from a professional sports camera because professional sports photographers actually needed this. Look, this is a silly focusing target. No matter how minimalist your style is, you're not gonna take a picture of this. But simple subjects do happen 
over the very small span of a focusing sensor all the time, especially with things like jerseys. Think of a referee's jersey. A photographer with plenty of time would just tilt the camera a little bit or manually focus, but these are not options for sports photographers who need to capture things in a split second. That's why Canon decided that this sort of complex focusing system was necessary for their professional DSLRs and why they have finally patented a solution for their mirrorless cameras, which still cannot do that. Canon's patent, which I found through canonrumors.com, is for quad pixel autofocus. Currently, all Canon mirrorless cameras use dual pixel autofocus, where every pixel is split in two. Each horizontal pair sees the world from a slightly different angle. And Canon can use this information to find contrast and thus fine tune the autofocus using traditional phase detect autofocus methods. But all we have are horizontal focusing points. That means any subject with only detail in the horizontal plane is essentially invisible to them and it still causes autofocus problems today. And I actually think this might be why Canon has postponed the release of the Canon R1. Here are Canon's patents for dual pixel autofocus and quad pixel autofocus. On the left, you can see the dual pixel autofocus is split in two horizontally. On the right, you can see the quad pixel autofocus. Each pixel is split into four little sub pixels that each see the world from a slightly different angle. Not only will this allow them to detect horizontal and vertical contrast, but I think they could probably apply it to detect diagonal contrast, giving us the true eight-way focusing system that we had on the 1DX and probably spread throughout the entire sensor. This means there's gonna be fewer occurrences of random focus hunting. It means more shots that you're going to get. And it'll be interesting to see when it actually gets put into production. But my hunch is that this is going to find its way into the Canon R1. My hunch is that Canon didn't want to release a professional one branded mirrorless camera without this extra ability to detect contrast on many different planes. This is not the first occurrence of cross-type autofocus points in mirrorless cameras. Several of them have had it in the past, like the Olympus EM1 Mark II, the Fuji X-Trans 2 and 3 sensors seem to have it, the Samsung NX1 had it, and soon, hopefully, the Canon mirrorless cameras will have it. In the comments down below, I'd love to hear your experiences. Are you ever having problems with finding subjects with Canon mirrorless cameras or other mirrorless cameras where it requires hunting in and out? And if you upgrade it from a DSLR, do you ever feel like you gave something up? Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace, who makes these independent pieces possible. Visit squarespace.com Tony and set up a website for any business or personal project that you're working on. I myself maintain several different websites for things like drone operations and portrait photography. Try your website out completely free. When you get it all ready and perfect and you love it, use the coupon code Tony to get 10% off. Thanks, Squarespace. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.